All right, so this would be part D, right? Part yeah. D, part D a puzzle piece, right? So we moved our F chord from here to over here. We're using our C major shape, right? So I got my pinky on the 8th fret on the A, ring finger on the 7th fret on the D, and I'm barring the three high strings on the 5th fret, and then my middle finger's here on the 6th fret on the B, right? So, and the only thing that's really gonna move is like the first finger, or the, I'm sorry, the pinky, and also the first finger. But, uh, so it's got, it's gonna go from this chord, And all you have to do is just pick up your pinky to play that open A. And then you just gotta move your bar down to the A string. Right? The progression is this F chord, or the F and C shape, right? And then the A, and then the B minor, and then back to the C, right? So one time is. After the second time, we're going to move to this D minor chord, which <clears throat> we can actually lose the bar. First finger goes to the fifth fret on the D, ring finger on the seventh fret on the G, pinky on the eighth fret on the B, and middle finger on the sixth fret on the high E. And it's. Right? Just like normal, except we're using that, that D string, right? And then we go to our C major chord. Right? And this is just our C major chord, but using the E major shape. Right? So I'm barring the, the 8th fret, ring finger on the 10th fret on the A, pinky on the 10th fret on the D, and middle finger on the 9th fret on the G. Right? And that should take care of pretty much most of part D.